45 Facts About Coffee Coffee is the world's second most valuable traded commodity, only behind petroleum. Energy drinks still don't have as much caffeine as a Starbucks coffee. Coffee is most effective if consumed between 9.30 am and 11.30 am. The world consumes close to 2.25 billion cups of coffee every day. In Korea and Japan, there is a cat cafe where you can go to drink coffee and hang out with cats for hours. The first webcam was created in Cambridge to check the status of a coffee pot. Coffee bins aren't beans. They are fruit pits. Starbucks spends more money on health insurance for its employees than on coffee beans. Instant coffee was invented by a man called George Washington around 1910. Coffee doesn't taste like it smells because saliva wipes out half of the flavor. Drinking a cup of caffeinated coffee significantly improves blood flow. There's a coffee shop in France where not saying hello and please makes your coffee more expensive. New Yorkers drink almost seven times more coffee than other cities in the US. One of the world's most expensive coffee brands is made from the dung of Thai elephants. 54% of the Americans drink coffee every day. If you yelled for 8 years, 7 months and 6 days, you would have produced enough energy to heat one cup of coffee. In the beginning, Starbucks only sold roasted whole coffee beans. The word coffee comes from the Arabic for wine of the bean. The Netherlands is the world's largest per capita consumer of coffee, averaging 2.4 cups of coffee per person per day. Without its smell, coffee would have only a sour or a bitter taste due to the organic acids. Try it, hold your nose as you take a sip. To study the health effects of coffee, King Gustav III of Sweden commuted the death sentences of a pair of twins on the condition that one drank three pots of coffee and the other tea for the rest of their lives. The name cappuccino comes from the resemblance of the drink to the clothing of the Capuchin monks. Americans spend an average of 1,092 US dollars on coffee each year. Drinking caffeine in the evening delays our brain's release of melatonin and interrupts our circadian rhythm by as much as 40 minutes. Starbucks has opened two stores per day since 1987. When men drink coffee, caffeine goes to the semen just like it goes to the blood. It has been estimated it would take 70 cups of coffee to kill a 154 pound, 70 kilograms, person. Contrary to popular belief, coffee does not dehydrate you. Studies have found Brazil has been the largest producer of coffee for the last 150 years. 50% of the caffeine you've consumed may be cleared from your body within 5 hours, but it will take over a day to fully eliminate it from your system. Hamburg, Germany, has banned coffee pods from government-run buildings in 2016 because they create unnecessary waste and contain aluminum. Two cups of coffee a day were found to reduce the risk of alcohol-related cirrhosis by 43%. 20% of office coffee mugs contain fecal bacteria. It takes about 37 gallons, 140 liters, of water to grow the coffee bins and process them to make one cup of coffee. Coffee has been found to reverse liver damage caused by alcohol. Drinking two to four cups of coffee daily has been found to drop the risk of suicide by 50% compared to non-coffee drinkers. In the 17th century Ottoman Empire, drinking coffee was punishable by death. Before the Colombian exchange, there were no oranges in Florida, no bananas in Ecuador, no potatoes in Ireland, no coffee in Colombia, no pineapples in Hawaii, no rubber trees in Africa, no tomatoes in Italy, and no chocolate in Switzerland. Starbucks offers 87,000 different drink combinations. If you take caffeine and mix it with sperm in a test tube, it makes the sperm swim better. Men who drink six or more cups of coffee daily decrease their risk of developing prostate cancer by 20%, a study found. 25 million small producers rely on coffee for a living worldwide. 
Espresso has more caffeine per unit volume than most coffee beverages, but because the usual serving size is much smaller, the total caffeine content is less than a mug of standard brewed coffee. Too much coffee and stress can produce higher levels of hallucination. According to a study, coffee improves the reaction time of older adults. Thanks for watching like and subscribe.